could use some caffeine and sugar. Should I have you taste them first? Ten people saw me buy these, so if I was going to poison you, I'd be a lot more discreet. Mm. So you have some time to think about that question. I have, and I could lie to save my pride, but what's the point? Try Miss Crimson. She's my baby, so yes, I miss her. And I have to say, being editor-in-chief of Crimson did not prepare me for the newspaper business. The Invader is like a jigsaw puzzle with the pieces constantly moving. It's the Peter Principle played out in action. You've advanced to your level of incompetence. Oh, please, can you just spare me your psychoanalysis of my ability? It's very simple. You were successful enough at Crimson, you're finally at this job because subverting the truth about human fashion that's practically why magazines like Crimson exist, but when you lie in a newspaper, that's not good. You're going to get caught. I see what's happening here. You're framing this as if it's me who's not able to do her job, but I think it's the opposite. Was Carly failing at running Crimson? I pushed Carly into taking that job. She was not the right fit. And you expect me to believe that at some point during your pillow talk that Carly suggested giving Crimson back to me? You know, I know I have a youthful glow, but I wasn't born yesterday. Carly and Crimson have parted ways. I, uh, I fired her. That can't have gone over well. I mean, she was so happy to watch me get fired. I mean, she was almost skinny, and she was able to tell me that she was my replacement. Yeah, after everything that you did to Carly, can you blame her, really, for being so happy about that? I mean, Carly never wanted that job at Crimson.